Aerialist Job is a job management add-on solution specifically designed for SAP Business One and has current certification from SAP. As we go through the software, you will see that the product allows a company to be able to track and manage the jobs that they work on and provide up-to-date accurate financial information about those jobs, allowing project managers to quickly see what is happening on their jobs and make better, more informed decisions. Given that the product was built specifically for SAP Business One, the company benefits from a tightly integrated solution that provides strong job costing and project management functionality. Let's take a look at the actual software. What we're looking at here is a master job within Errorless Job. Each master job can be separated into multiple subjobs, which can be used to identify different parts or phases of a job and allow for a greater level of analysis and reporting. The intention behind the job is to allow a company to have a single place to hold information relating to that job. For that reason, the job allows both financial and non-financial information to be held at the different job levels, providing a single place for the project manager to access any job-related information. Some key elements are the ability to be able to hold customer-related information, detailed job descriptions and internal information, along with date-related information specific to the job. Project documents can also be attached to the job and therefore available to anyone who has access to view the job. All of this information can also be used within Business One Alerts, which is a feature that allows the company to build their own management rules into the product and have the product then manage and alert specific people about these rules. For example, when a project manager logs into the system in the morning, they can get an automatic alert to tell them about their jobs that may be close to budget or may be coming close to their due date. Likewise, project managers or admin staff can get automatic alerts to tell them of people who may not have recorded timesheets for a period. As part of the setup and configuration of the system, the company is able to define their particular job types, statuses, categories and properties, along with adding additional user fields to the job or subjob, which can all be used in the reporting and analysis of their jobs. These icons allow the users to pull up details of attachments held against the subjob, also any Business One activities that are linked to the job or subjob. On the master job, there are also a number of tabs to take the user through to different parts of the job. We will look at the subjob information a little later. If I click on the Quote tab of the job, I can see a detailed breakdown of the quote for this master job. We will revisit the details of the quote a little later on when we get into the subjob information. Moving to the Transactions tab, we can get a clear picture of the value and costs of the transactions currently allocated to the job, separated into the major transaction categories. To begin with, we have the Material and Expenses category, which shows the results of any item used on the job which may have been picked from company inventory or goods and services that have been purchased in via an accounts payable process for the job. The Staff Timesheets category displays the results of all timesheet entries that have been recorded against the job. It is worth noting that whenever you see these golden arrows, you are able to drill down to see more detailed information. In this case, Drilling down will take me into the detailed material lines. The resource category is for recording the use of company assets against a job, such as vehicles or other equipment. The rental equipment category is only available where the optional errorless rent module is used and displays any equipment that has been rented out to the customer as part of this job. The Other Transactions category will show the results of journal entries or other adjustments that have been processed against the job. The Draft Transactions show the timesheet and resource entries that have been entered but not yet posted to the job. This provides the project manager with a clear picture of the position of the job and the expected profitability based on the transactions that have been recorded. At the same time, by clicking on the Purchasing tab, the project manager is also able to see the status of the accounts payable documents that have been linked to the job, and also see what committed costs are yet to be incurred. This provides a level of forecast information to see what costs are still to be allocated to the job. The Job Line Processing tab shows all the transactions that have been assigned to the job but are still part of the work in progress and have not yet been billed to a customer. The system supports multiple billing options, such as pure time and materials based invoicing, fixed price invoicing, make to stock an invoice, 
which allows a company to produce an output item from the costs incurred on the job and then invoice the customer for that output item. And finally, from a billing perspective, contract or milestone billing, where billing is based on predefined stages, where the revenue recognition and the invoicing function are not necessarily related. From this Show Documents tab, a window is displayed where you can see all of the documents relating to this job, such as invoices, deliveries, etc. At this stage, we will move down to the sub-job level. The sub-job looks very similar to the master job, except that when we are looking at the master job, we are seeing information relating to all the underlying sub-jobs, while at the sub-job level, we are just looking at the specific sub-job information. One of the key elements of the sub-job is the Quote tab, where detailed information can be entered relating to what is anticipated to be required to carry out the job. Transactions can be separated into their main transaction categories and can be as detailed as required by the company. The entry of a quote is not mandatory, but it can be used as the benchmark for analyzing the performance of the job, along with automating the creation of the picking and purchasing associated to the job. In the quote, both the value and cost of the transactions can be defined. This provides a clear indication of the anticipated profitability of each of the specific areas of the job, and where items are being purchased from a supplier, the vendor and specific cost can be specified at the time of the quote. There are also a number of options available for importing quote details into Errorless Job. This includes importing quote information directly from SAP Business One, copying quote information from previous jobs, or pasting quote details directly from Excel using the standard Windows copy and paste functionality. As part of the solution, the company can also view what jobs their staff members are working on and the amount of work that has been assigned to their staff members. Traffic lights indicate whether a staff member has sufficient work assigned to them in the forecast period, which allows the company to maximize the utilization of their staff and their related profitability. We also have a companion-based product available for Errorless Job, called Errorless Anywhere. This is a web-based product, which allows staff in the field to be able to view their scheduled appointments and enter time, materials, expenses, etc. that relate to jobs.